But let's go ahead and bring up Phoebe and let's hear what you have to say. Hi, everybody. Okay, let me share my screen here. Let's do this. All right. Struggles in a class as an IEP student. How does this relate to me? So let me sh share a little bit of background. I am an IEP student and I have dyslexia. That is a learning disability that I have grown up with and was born with. I have trouble with grammar and spelling and punctuation. Growing up, I've had many experiences, especially with teachers calling me out in the middle of class, calling me the worst speller they have ever seen. And they have had my papers for two years stating I was an IEP student. I have also had watched my sister go through these experiences, my little sister, and she has been laughed at by teachers for not knowing certain concepts or things when it comes to inside the classroom. So, solutions. I want this as more of an educational tool. I, I want to write a book on IEP students' experiences in the classroom when it comes to teachers and students. I do not want this to bash anybody. This is not to, to bash anyone's past experiences of how people have dealt with certain experiences when it comes to students with learning disabilities. This is purely an educational tool that I want teachers to take and be like, hey, this is what happened in the past, but we can improve this. Why me? Well, not many people really talk about what happens in the classroom as an IEP student. People usually brush it off or say, okay, let's focus on how I how these people with learning disabilities are dealing today in everyday life when it comes to transportation or in the workforce, but no one really talks about how they deal with it in our schools and students are growing and their minds are developing. And this is the most important time to really talk about it and really change something about it. So I'm asking for $2,000. Uh, this will be put towards editing and publishing this book. I want art implemented. I want a, I want a audio book so kids who are visually impaired can listen to. I, I actually uh, reached out to friends online and I asked for experiences and things they have gone through. And I have gotten tremendous support from friends saying, I want to see this happen. I want, I want to read this. I want to know what's happening to our, our students with learning disabilities. This right here is an anonymous experience. That at the bottom is what a principal said to a student with a learning disability. Someone who has extra time on assignments was denied this and given a zero on their project and told that it was an inappropriate message to say that, hey, I, I don't think I should get a zero on this. I have extra time. That's what my IEP states. And I, I don't think I should get a zero on this. And instead of the principal helping and being like, yeah, I'll help you. He, he pushed her, he pushed him aside and said, no, I'm not going to help you. And you can go on our cyber program and you can leave. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous. I, I will say that you can ask questions on this slide. You can ask um, questions on uh, plans if you have anything uh, about there. Obviously, I'm, I haven't gone through everything on that slide, so ask away. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to start because that was very powerful. And I think everybody's catching their breath. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I mean, an amazing personal story. And it's what we talk about is that's how we connect as humans. So my question for you is, there's a lot that goes into the production side of it to do this. What is your current experience with that? And do you already have partners? I, I will say that uh, I have support from friends of mine that they wanna see this happen. Of course, I am not an expert when it comes to publishing books, I'll be honest. This is something that I, I really went on a whim with because I know that when it comes to being an IEP student, it can be scary to share your experience that happens in the classroom. One of the experiences that I shared in a past video was that our IEP class was put into a closet to learn and we had the small room, a literal janitor's closet to learn in my middle school year. And I, I, 
it was appalling because they could have put us into a cafeteria to learn and they could have put our supplies in the janitor's closet. I will say they were making over the school at the time, but there were different options they could have taken besides that option. I, I want this to be known because IEP students don't really have a voice. I am someone who knows that because my older sister was told she was a broken down car while her friends were limousines. It's appalling and it needs to be known. My little sister is going through these same experiences I went through and I don't want anyone to continue having these experiences. And that's why I want to put this book together to be like, hey, this is what's happening. We need to change this. And these are the solutions we can put at the end. So, yeah. I don't think we needed any more questions. <laughs> Phoebe, I am really excited about this mentoring because I'm not sure if you're familiar with the art of Baron Batch, who was a former Pittsburgh Steeler who then turned his talent to art. And I think that the two of you working together to find alter, you know, and creative ways to express and deliver messaging that is not traditional is just going to be so powerful. And, and this, I mean, like, I, I'm at a loss of words, which is probably what I should be, because we don't need words. We'll find other ways to express emotions. Yes. Well, and I'm going to jump in here too, Phoebe. You're, the amount you ask for is definitely approved, but you're, you're <laughs> going to need more when it comes to the production side yeah. of things. And we happen to have a production company. So oh we are going to make sure that this thing sees the light of day. <laughs> I'm so proud. You don't understand how proud I am because I've watched my friends go through so many countless experiences and it's horrible. Thank you. And, and Phoebe, the sparkles definitely helped. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.